Hey guys, I'm Sanjana Ghosh and today we are going to be starting the 6th module of our dy uh, by dx series, the z-transform. So now, if the function un is defined for the discrete values n is equal to 0, 1, 2, etc. and un is equal to 0 for, n, for the negative values of n, then its z-transform is defined to be z of u of n where u n is nothing but your function summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity u n z to the power uh, min, uh, minus n and that's equal to u naught plus u 1 z plus u 2 z square plus u 3 z cube and so on so this is one formula that you need to know and we will be using it for getting all the standard forms of our equation uh, standard forms of our z transforms so now if summation uh, of n is equal to 0 to infinity u n z power minus n is a finite value it converges then we write z is equal to u n that's your function is equal to u of z inverse z transform is written as z inverse of u uh, u z is equal to u n so this is not that important just for you to know okay and there are a few binomial expansions that we will be using significantly uh, throughout there are even more uh, which you would have used um, in your 12th grades right so a plus x to the power n is equal to n c naught a n plus n c 1 a n minus 1 x plus n c 2 a power n minus 2 x square and so on and so forth up to n c n x power n right where a naught is equal uh, a power 0 that becomes 1 um, then we have 1 plus x the whole uh, power minus 1 its form will be 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube and so on then we have 1 minus x the whole power minus 1 that's equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity x power n that's equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube so on and so forth right so let us take a few examples z transform of 1 so what is the function here u of n is equal to 1 so what is your um, formula uh, z transform of u n that's equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity um, u n z bar minus n right this is your formula so in place of u n what will you put that's function 1 so summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity z power minus n into 1 right that's equal to now you'll be substituting the values and you'll be getting your expression so it will be first uh, z power 0 that's equal to 1 plus uh, when, when n is equal to 1 we'll get z power minus 1 plus z power minus 2 so on and so forth right so what are we getting over here we are getting a gp so when it is an infinite gp what is the summation or uh, the sum of the series of an infinite gp that's equal to 1 div uh, a divided by 1 minus r right so what is a, a is your first uh, the first term and r is the uh, second term divided by the first term so what is your a over here it's nothing but 1 and your r will be equal to z power minus 1 divided by 1 so what will be our answer here z of u of n is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus z power minus 1 so on taking LCM we'll get z divided by z minus 1 that is your answer similarly let's take another example uh, z of n this is very small just for you to get to know how to use this formula yeah it's the same steps again so that is nothing but um, z of u of n that's equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity u of n z power minus 1 or uh, minus n that's equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity what is our um, what is our function now that's equal to n n into z power minus n right so what will be our series it will be 0 plus 1 by z plus 2 plus uh, 2 into 1 by z square so on and so forth we'll take z common out 1 by z common out 
what do we get? We'll get 1 plus 2 into 1 by z plus 3 into 1 by z the whole square so on and so forth right so then what is this of the form it is of the form 1 minus x the whole uh, power minus 2 that's nothing but 1 plus uh, 2x plus 3x square so on right so this is another you can make a list of all the expansions that we are coming across from time to time okay so what will be our answer over here will be z, uh, z of n is equal to 1 by z into 1 minus 1 by z to the power minus 2 right so finally we get z divided by z minus 1 the whole square so an important uh, result that you need to know is z n power p is equal to minus z d by dz z of n power p minus 1 this is one important formula please box it up so this is nothing but the recurrence formula it's called the recurrence formula so let us take an example question on the recurrence formula so then uh, we have z of n square so by using the recurrence formula it will be minus z uh, d by dz z of n right why because over here what is our p our p is equal to 2 so p minus 1 that is nothing but n power 1 right so on further evaluating what do we get we get d by dz of z of n that is nothing but d by dz of z divided by z minus 1 the whole square because we know that z of n z of n is equal to z divided by z minus 1 the whole square we just did it in the previous problem right so over here we'll have minus z d by dz of this so we'll be using the uv rule yeah d by dx of u by v that's u dash of v minus v dash of u divided by v square so by using this formula what do we get on further evaluation we will be getting 1 into z minus 1 the whole square minus z into 2 into z minus 1 divided by z minus 1 to the power 4 okay so then we have z into z square minus 1 divided by z minus 1 to the power 4 so this is of the form a square minus b square that is equal to a plus b into a minus b so we have z minus 1 into z plus 1 divided by z minus 1 the whole power 4 so this becomes 3 right so what do we get we get z into z plus 1 divided by z minus 1 the whole cube that's your answer you can try to solve one example question z um z of n power 4 this is the answer so this uh, the same way as we have done before by using the recurrence formula this uh, just using the same method try to solve this so now let's solve a question on the basis of unit step function when the unit step function is 1 when n is equal to 0 and if it, uh, n is not equal to 0 we'll get 0 take care so uh, z transform of a unit step function is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity unit step function z to the power minus n so that is equal to 1 plus 0 into z power minus 1 plus 0 into z power minus 2 plus 0 into z power minus 3 and so on so all of these terms will become 0 because if n is not equal to 0 if n is, equal, uh, is not equal to 0 what is your function it is equal to 0 only at one point we get 1 so over here unit sub function of z is equal to 1